this is Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm at the World Space Modeling Championships in Bulgaria, and we're talking with uh, British flyer John Jacob. And he is talking about his helicopter model that he's flying. And this is the very first time that I'm seeing it. So go ahead, John, tell me about your rocket. Well, these are models that we make ourselves. Everything here is produced locally by us. Uh, and we have, it looks like a standard model rocket, but we have a nose cone which is held to the uh, base of the rocket by elastic so that when the model ejects, it comes off and hangs below the rock, rocket. Uh, then we have internally we have the fins on a hub. The hub we make ourselves is on a carbon tube with a rod inside with a piston. The piston holds the rotor blades inside and when we eject, blades come out, like that. The hub itself rotates around the centre. I haven't put all the elastic on there, simply because it puts it under tension and we don't want to rub, uh, wear the elastic down. So it comes out like that. Same with this one. This one. So that's how it will fly. What are these made out of? These are made out of glass coating with row of cell centre. Um, and you can actually see they're aerofoiled. They've got an under camber. Um, so they actually fly very efficiently. Um, the hub itself we mould. We mould ourselves. Uh, and that actually, the centre, which pushes out the nose, that's a ping pong ball. <laughs> oh, okay. And that also is a ping pong ball, oh. so it simply pushes it out. Um, it's captive, it doesn't have a, a cord, so that's all solid in one. And what we have is that rotates on the centre of the hub there so that when it comes out and ejects, it, it, it doesn't drop down, it just stays as one on a telescopic system. We, we, yeah, we, we, we have a joint there, a silicon tube, and the point about the silicon tube is that when it's under pressure, it doesn't pull apart because it tightens. Because it stretches, it clamps onto the carbon at the top, so that it actually makes it stronger. Um, we affix elastic bands around the top here to actually make the blades come out. Now we've also got a dethermalizer on it, so that what will happen is, after about three minutes, the dethermalizer will make this blade go up like that. And when it goes like that, it's out of balance and it comes down. So you've got two blades like this, one up like that, and it drops out the sky. Um, well, we're running out of time here on this video, but uh, if you'd like to learn more about uh, John's rocket, uh, you can email me at Apogee Rockets. Uh, just come to our website and use our contact. So John, thank you for uh, sharing your rocket with us, and uh, we look to hear more from you in the future. Oh, that's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank America. Thanks, America. Yeah, well done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Tim.